What's up, YouTube? Simply oh, look here. And today we have one of the most classic and nostalgic openings of all time. It is the original, the 2002 Starter Deck Kaiba. What? And then I want to ask you guys to check out the channel and subscribe for some more epic Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Wow. So, uh, I wanted to kind of celebrate the release of the new Yu-Gi-Oh! movie, um, Bonds Beyond Time. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, Dark Side of Dimensions. And uh, I wanted to open up the classic Starter Decks for you guys. So today we're going to be doing Starter Deck Kaiba, and then we'll be doing Starter Deck Yu-Gi, and then we're going to do an epic Starter Deck Showdown, or Starter Deck Duel between these two classic Starter Decks, you guys. It's going to be freaking incredible. I am super excited. And uh, so yeah, before we get to opening this, I want to thank our friends at Ultra Pro. We have the uh, nice blue sleeves for some of our foil cards inside. And uh, I decided to take out the OG, the original playmat for this video, um, just because it's so classic. You know, 2002, this is the first regional playmat from Konami. And it actually makes sense too, because this is the playmat that they actually give you inside. So this is the, this is the legit rubber playmat below. All right, let's check it out. So pop it open. I'm gonna go from the bottom. Okay. Unbelievable. 2002, you guys. Boosh. And let's check out the back real quick. Um, so it says here, in ancient Egypt, there existed a force so powerful and had to be locked away for a millennia. Now one boy has released the power. It's time to do. Objective. In the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game, two players face off in an all-out battle engaging in a match consisting of three duels. It will take skill, practice, strategy, and luck to emerge victorious from the match, as there are many factors players can manipulate to vanquish their foe. The main battles are waged between incredible monsters split into an amazing 20 types, each with their own unique skills and fighting styles. In addition, players can use magic, set traps, change the battlefield itself, and even fuse two monsters together to form a monster of immense power. Star deck to collect, two decks to collect, Yugi and Kaiba. Each one player deck contains 47 common cards, three full cards, and one rule book, and one game mat. Wow. I don't know, because actually, you guys, I've act we've never opened these up on this channel before. Um, before, all we did was the Duel Master's Guide. Um, so, and that just had both star decks inside. We've actually never opened up in an individual Star Deck Kaiba before. So this is even, this is actually like making history for the Simply Unlucky right now. And I guess we're kind of doing this for the new year too, right? And we're definitely going to be taking our time, you guys. So if you thought it would be a fast opening of a Star Deck, a 2002 Star Deck, you were, uh, you're in the wrong place. But yes, yeah, so here is the cards. But first, here is the uh, game mat, which we already have out. No big deal there. And the official rule book, and this will be like 1.0, or the first rule book of its kind, as you can see here. Set magic and trap cards. Not spell cards, you guys. Magic. The classic. Um, I forget exactly why they changed that. I feel like I need to ask Konami, personally, somebody there. Um, some say it's because of Magic the Gathering, and also, or that magic is too much for children. Spell is... <laughs> is not a, I don't know, it's not something that would be forbidden by religion or something like that. Taboo. Oh, pretty simple to open, okay. A very pristine classic structure deck from 2002. Come on, be nice to me. Wow. Starter deck Kaiba. Incredible. Whoa. Whoa. Look at that. That is a original Blue Eyes White Dragon from a Kaiba starter deck. SDK001. Blue Eyes White Dragon. This legendary dragon is a powerful engine of destruction. Virtually invincible. Very few have faced this awesome creature and lived to tell the tale, except Simply Unlucky. Incredible, you guys. Look at this epicness. Wow. And here it is, you guys. 
the whiff of destiny. 2002. Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Amazing. Alright, so there is our mint condition. Blue Eyes, White Dragon. A Lord of D. All dragon type monsters cannot be targeted by magic cards, trap cards, or other effects that designate the target. A Flute of Summoning Dragon for our Lord of D. Awesome. And then let's sleeve these three cards up before we get any further because they are just so classy. I am super excited to actually do a starter deck showdown between these two amazing decks. This is going to be too much for me to handle. My soul right now is just so excited. <laughs> Very deep inside of me, I feel myself. <laughs> okay, well, we'll just leave it there. But wow, look at that. All right, so Skull Red Bird, you guys. This guy always finds his way. This is a pretty dark starter deck, by the way. Nice, very, a lot of color. Um, Skull Red Bird, this guy always finds its way into the different Yu-Gi-Oh! video games. I feel like we're always using this guy. Even in Duel Links, right? You use this guy with a mountain from, from Kaiba when you're playing Kaiba, and it's a 1750 attack, which is actually pretty strong. This monster swoops down and attacks with a rain of knives stored in its wings. Skull Red Bird. Gyaku Tenu Megami. One of the alternate art cards. Very pretty. Mystical power, protect the weak, and provide spiritual support. A reverse trap. And uh, these aren't in random order. I believe this is the same order for all starter decks. Um, starter deck Kaipas that you open. Reverse trap, very powerful card. And uh, a limited pool of cards. Like in different video games. Dark Titan of Terror. These classic cards. It's to dwell in the world of dreams and attacks enemies in their sleep. Ogre of the Black Shadow. Look at this guy. You don't see cards like this very often from Yu-Gi-Oh. That guy looks awesome. Possessed with the powers of the dark. Monster Reborn. Wow. Beautiful. The Wicked Worm Beast. Crazy looking dude. What is that? Is that like a worm dwelling in a monster? I don't even know. Ryukishin Powered. Nice. This guy's always fun to use in the different Yu-Gi-Oh! video games. 1600 and if you have like a Yami. Yami on the field. It's a gargoyle enhanced by the powers of darkness. There you go. Yummy. Invigoration. I'm invigorated. Opening up this classic 2002 starter deck. 400 attack points and 200 defense for an earth monster. Two-pronged attack. Sometimes you just don't have any way to destroy an opponent's monster unless you sacrifice or destroy two of your own first. Ouch. Interesting card. I feel like, um, is it is it known, those two monsters, the two hands? Post in the comments below. Pale Beast. That is a freaky looking dude. It's a strange creature that is fearsome. Remove trap. A unknown warrior of fiend. So an unknown demon warrior. Koji Kaki. Why Koji Kaki? A manhunter with powerful arms that can crush boulders. So this is the guy, if you're playing Pokemon, you want to get this guy so you can strength and rock smash. <laughs> Rude Kaiser. Very cool. Ultimate offering. Nice. Fissure. When I was a kid, I would always just sit there and look at this card and be like, that must suck. <laughs> Destroy one opponent's face-up monster with the lowest attack. An actually very powerful card. Um, 
back when first when Yu-Gi-Oh was first starting out. Obviously, you had your Regekis and Dark Holes and whatnot, but when those cards were banned or limited to one, Fissure was actually a pretty powerful card. If they only had a Blue Eyes on their side of the field, Skadoosh, that would destroy Blue Eyes White Dragon. Kamori Dragon, nice. A vicious fire breathing dragon whose wicked flames corrupts the soul of its victims. A trap master. Awesome. Ancient telescope. <laughs> Look at the top five cards of your opponent's decks and return them in the same order. That's pretty cool. I feel like I always thought this was a bat or a club of some kind and I never really looked at it as a telescope I don't know if you guys see what I'm talking about there but it's definitely a telescope but you know I don't think I ever gave it much attention before sword stalker oh this guy is intense this is spawn the spawn of Yu-Gi-Oh <laughs> vengeful souls that passed away in battle formed by the vengeful souls reinforcements very powerful card in Duel Links uh, Battle Ox. Wow. These are such colorful cards. I'm loving this. A monster with tremendous power. Mystic Horseman. Half man, half horse. Rogue Doll. Interesting card. Dark Hole. Classic card. Oh, Magic. Classic magic card. Mystic Clown. Destroyer Golem. The Inexperienced Spy. Select and see one of your opponent's hand. Okay. Castle Walls to go with the reinforcements. Reinforcements is 500 attack. Castle Walls is 500 defense. And uh, increase the selected monster's defense by 500 points during the turn this card's activated. This is a damage step card. So you guys can actually place your monster face down and then it can be attacked face down and it'll be flipped and you'll still be able to activate castle walls so it's not like you need to have your monster face up in order to activate because I never really realized that as a younger person mysterious puppeteer a Terra the terrible known as a swamp dweller this creature is a minion of the dark forces the Yerby. Sojin, nice. Increase the attack and defense of all Beast Warrior and Warrior type monsters. Elijin, the mystical genie of the lamp. Just Desserts. A Dehuman. Dehuman. Nice, he's got a unicorn thing <laughs> going on there. Gifted with the power of dragons. Ukazi. A Judge Man, nice. Very classic six star monster, right? Club wielding warrior battles to the end and will never surrender. Judgment. Looks like we got an upside down card. Dark Assailant. Isn't this Dark Assassin first edition? Can't remember. Very cool. Armed with a psycho sword, the sinister assassin rules the Badland. Wow. Look at that picture. I could stare at that all day. That's cool. And then an upside down Hain Hain. That's definitely a card to get upside down, right? <laughs> Select one monster on the field regardless of position and return it to its owner's hand. Trap Hole. Very powerful card back in the day. D Spell. Destroy your opponent's field spell cards. So I'm just thinking of one of the uh, cards that will be powerful. All, well, pretty much all these cards will do work against the Yugi deck because it will be just such a... It'll just be such a brawl of monsters. I mean, like, reinforcements will be so powerful. Trap Hole, Dark Hole, Fisher, you know, any card that can really destroy monsters. And then any monster with over, like, 1,500 attack or 2,000 or 1,600 defense, I guess. Ryukishin and, oh, the Master and Expert. A deadly duo consisting of a Beast and Master. Ryukishin. A very elusive creature that looks like a harmless statue until it attacks. I mean, if you're asking me, I don't think that looks like a harmless statue, but... <laughs> Definitely doesn't. 
Uh, and the Dark Energy, Fiend Time Monster equipped with this is 300 attack and defense. And then Hitotsu Me Giant. Why Hitotsu Me? Never know. Really cool picture though. Four star, 1200. The One-Eyed Behemoth with thick, powerful arms made for delivering punishing blows. Awesome. So we'll be using this starter deck in a duel. A starter deck showdown with the classic Yugi starter deck that we'll be opening, I believe, tomorrow. And so that'll be fun. But yeah, here's our three foil cards once again, you guys. And you know what? Just for the epicness, let's give it one more whiff. 2002 Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Incredible. And once again, there is the Blue Eyes White Dragon. The legendary dragon that's a powerful engine of destruction. Virtually invincible. Very few have faced this awesome creature and lived to tell the tale. Very cool. Lord of D and the Flute of Summoning Dragon. Incredible, you guys. So once again, thank you so much for watching, and hopefully, let me know in the comments below if you're looking forward to the new Yu-Gi-Oh! movie and our starter deck showdown with the classic 2002 Yu-Gi-Oh! starter deck that will be opening up very soon. It's going to be freaking awesome, you guys. And simply, oh, lucky, signing out.